Have you ever felt like there's so many things going on in your day that your brain just can't rest? Like for me right now? When this happens, you're blocking your potential to generate new ideas and it compromises the quality of your work. But with proper adjustments, you might be able to refocus your attention. And I'm here to help you with this. This is how to get your brain to focus. My name is Munif Ali, and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s, starting out in poverty. I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I started making videos like this to share my life experiences so that I could teach others how to become more successful in life and in business. If you like this type of content, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like this video, and then share this video with someone who might find this content and this video helpful. The number one thing that's keeping you distracted from your tasks is that dumb phone of ours. Since it's always in your pocket or your bag, just one notification can easily distract you from your task. Take some time from your devices at least once a week. And after that, one of the first benefits that you may notice is positive growth in your attention span. And with that, you have more ideas coming in and you have more plans and thoughts for the future. All it took was removing that simple device for a period of time. It is possible for you to remove the stimulus that's causing this distraction. Let's face it, many of us go into a panic attack when we go into the shower because we don't have our phone and it's gotten that way. So try to limit your phone use, especially during times of focus. Let's clarify first why you get distracted all the time. According to a TED talk by Chris Bailey, when you're in front of that computer or your phone is nearby, the average time a person focuses in on a task is only about 40 seconds. And that reduces to 35 seconds if you include social media apps. And let's face it, we're using social media apps all the time. What people often think is that the problem is distraction, when in reality, it's more that your brain is overstimulated. We're in a hyper-stimulated state because our brains crave these distractions. That's the way a lot of apps are designed. These are the little nuggets of information from social media, from ads, from emails, and all the other things we click and scroll throughout the day. These small dosages and distractions give us a hit of dopamine, the same pleasure chemical when we do things that we shouldn't be doing like overeating or God forbid you're taking drugs or you like to drive fast. Dopamine is addictive. Now what happens when you get out of this hyper-stimulated state? We become bored. We may think that boredom is a bad thing, but no, boredom can actually be a good sign that you have reduced your mind's stimulus. And when your mind is less stimulated, you become more calm and you have more ideas that start to appear. So aside from staying off your phone, Try doing some tasks that make you bored. Try doing one month of boring tasks to help your brain reduce stimuli. Think of the most boring things that you can do, like watching a clock tick to relax yourself, or meditating, or gardening, or any other thing that is not hyper-stimulating you. And within eight days, you'll notice that your mind will crave less the idea of looking at your phone because you have a lower level of stimulation. I've done this many, many times where I don't even touch my phone for the first couple of hours after I wake up. You'll be in a state of calm and rest and similar to when you are having a vacation. Because just like the absence of phones, you'll notice that your attention span starts to grow and more ideas come to you because you're not being surrounded by distractions, but because your brain is less stimulated and it doesn't seek those distractions in the first place anymore so that you can feel good. And let's face it, a lot of things in life that are impactful are boring to do. So instead of the instant gratification, learn to be focused and take the distractions away. It's similar to if you have issues with sweets, you should get rid of the sweets so you don't see them. It's just the first basic little thing you can do to take the distractions away. So if you're distracted by the phone, put it in a cupboard, put it in your nightstand, put it far away, put it in the next room until you get your task accomplished. This is why you need to relax and let your mind wander a bit. Do you ever think about why the best ideas come to you from nowhere? Just like when you're in a nice bath or the shower? That's because you're usually in a state of relaxation and it's kind of weird to take your phone into the shower. You might do that, but technically people don't. And your brain has enough time to think about things that affect you, your life, your family, your work. 
This is a mode of your brain that's called scatter focus. And it happens when you let your mind just wander and develop new ideas and thought. Now, try to set a time when you can let your brain wander and help gain new ideas. When we let our brains wander, we mostly think about the past 12% of the time, and then 28% of the time we think about the present, the most productive place to wander. The future is 48% of the time. This is why when we're in the shower, we think about the things we need to do within the day. We need to change those numbers and adjust your mind to focus on the present as much as possible to help your brain focus on their tasks. To put yourself in this type of scatter focus, do a hobby that isn't complicated. Maybe a coloring book for adults, or take an extra minute in the shower, or just simply walk around like I do. To keep your new ideas, have a notebook near you. Hey look, every Monday, if you wanna learn more about personal finance and development, and you have dreams to live a life free of any financial issues, then go ahead and watch the episode of Empower Life on Spotify. This is where I give you unfiltered personal opinion on the latest trends, whether it's stocks or crypto or real estate and much more. You can always join me there and I look forward to seeing you there. We now see that sometimes we're doing too much and that we don't let our minds wander anymore. So when you're in this constant state of getting distracted because you're overstimulated, we actually need space to let ideas into our mind. So here are more tips to let your brain get less stimulated. For two weeks, limit your screen time and disconnect from the ritual of technology and the dopamine fix. Set a little time after to work so that you don't use technology whatsoever. And by doing this, you'll rediscover relaxation, set your mind in a state of scattered focus, take notes on whatever changes you start to see and notice, and you'll see big differences in less than two weeks. The state of our attention span can determine the success in life. Check the use of your technology because it's designed to distract you and keep you on their apps and keep you on their social media and keep you on their phone. Constantly checking your phone every few minutes is getting your mind overstimulated. By freeing your mind, you gain more ideas and feel more relaxed. Then your attention span will grow, making you more focused on whatever task you need to do. And what I need you to do is hit that like and subscribe button after watching this video. I'm proud that you've made it all the way to the end of this video and you clearly have increased your attention span. I want you to go ahead and watch this video next on how to plan your day the night before. Productivity for success. Thank you for watching.